I don't play hardcore Minecraft as I'm pretty accident prone when it comes to my Minecraft worlds. But I'm craving a new challenge. And what better way to challenge myself than find out how long I can survive in hardcore Minecraft. No. Well, tree chopping it is. I don't love snow. I'm gonna be honest right now. Snow is my least favorite biome to spawn into. So we're gonna be traveling a little bit to try and find ourselves a more useful location that I would like to base in. No! Bad berry bush. Uh-oh, zombie. Yes, we're a scared hardcore player. Uh, it's, I'm sure it's fine. Another dog. Oh, good. Okay, go, go kill that sheep, please, please. I was hoping you'd do it, so I didn't have to be the murderer. Ooh, there's a village, guys. I didn't even have to make that bed. I could have just come over here and um, stolen a bed. Uh, little child, I'm actually going to take the purple bed because I like purple better. You can have the white one. Diamond horse armor and iron leggings. Oh my goodness. And an iron sword and an iron pickaxe that's an incredible find we're on day one and i'd say that's a pretty good start for a hardcore world now something that would be really nice would be if we actually had a stony peaks biome around here because that would be amazing for finding iron but i want to get on top of here and see what else might be around so it looks pretty snowy everywhere we look. So I kind of feel like we're just going to have to go for a wander and hope we come across something that isn't snow. Thank you, my dear villager friends, for your hospitality. I appreciate it immensely. But it's time to move on to bigger and better things. Finally, no more snow. Possibly a flower forest as well. 100% of flower forest which is kind of what I am looking for, but I kind of wanted something better than this. That's actually more flower forest. So let's head that direction and see if the terrain opens up into a little bit more hills. I mean, it is an island again. Oh, it's so hard to decide when you're with a big open world. What is going on over there? I say, let's go check what that structure was over there and we'll come back here. That is totally just drowned ruins, but that looks so weird and epic all at the same time. Now, since this is so large, is there going to be like a second buried treasure around here? Or I mean, a second chest to look into? I'm not seeing any and I wanna be a little careful of these drowned fellows here, but this is an excellent place to come back to when we actually have a brush that we can go through all this suspicious gravel. I am not saying that where I currently am set up is where we're gonna be staying. I might change my mind as we travel here. Hello, villagers. Do you have anything fun for me? Maybe a diamond, lots of wheat. Oh, more bookshelves. Yes, please. Oh, they do have a blacksmith in here. They have a helmet. I'll take it. Okay, no diamonds, uh, no stony peaks yet, but we're gonna keep looking. I kind of like the wooded badlands. I've never actually built in the wooded badlands and like, I don't love the tree color, but seeing it how large this place is, I could see myself building something in here. Hello villagers, I've come to raid your town. Acacia saplings, we're gonna take those too. My inventory is already full. Guys, I like exploring too much. I'm, I'm still really hoping for stony peaks, guys. We're like almost 4,000 blocks away in both directions. The further I explore, the more I'm like, I don't actually know where I want to settle down. I think we're going to get a bird's eye view around here. Stony peaks, guys, we found them. I am looking good on day eight. We're doing really good, even if most of it's been exploring. I am very happy that we actually came here 
guys, look at this. We have 24 blocks of iron now and six ingots. Super, super happy that we did this. Let's head back to that cherry forest now. Oh, this is a gorgeous view. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I do kind of have the idea of doing more of hobbit hole style builds. It makes me get away from having to make roofs, but this area right here could be kind of fun to make a whole bunch of hobbit holes in. Yep, I think right here, we're gonna hollow out a little space and we are going to decorate this up into a lovely hobbit hole. I think this is gonna work, but I want to, before I actually finish this off and build it, I actually want to look for a place that we can go down into a mine. So what if we just put our mining area, maybe just back this direction a little bit. The diamonds. I got my first diamonds. And this is a nice big vein. Oh my goodness, was that like gonna be eight diamonds here? Uh, eight diamonds, yes. Negative 54, diamond mining level, let's go. And hey, it's only day 19, uh, we're, we're fine. We're doing really good guys for day 19. Look at all the iron that we have. We even have what, 21 diamonds now? I don't know, I left them upstairs. Can't complain with uh, what's happening so far. But friends, I have been doing this all wrong. I was gonna get diamonds for gear and then do enchanting. But if I got fortune onto a diamond pickaxe, well, getting diamonds would be a lot easier, right? We have two diamonds here, but we have 20 here. So we have 22 diamonds and we have at least one piece of obsidian. Ugh, this makes me want to go back to our other place to get the other pieces of obsidian. Yep, I think we're going to do it. I know, I feel like I'm all over the place, but I think this is going to be the better way to go. Okay, here we are back at the first place that we thought we'd set up shop. So let's quick grab our stuff. Uh, what can we get rid of here? You know what? We can get rid of uh, the stone shovel. We really don't need that. Heading back. That's the wrong way to head back. Heading back this way. Okay, I definitely want some yellow terracottas. It is day 24 and we are on the way back. So I will meet you guys when we get there. Diamonds, obsidian. What else do I need for this? I need my book. Enchanting table. For now, I guess we're just gonna put it right there. So let's get ourselves a couple of bookshelves. We can make 12 bookshelves and uh, let's see what we can't do here with some levels. How much is this going to give us? Level requirement 24 right now. Okay, so it's not like awful. I mean, I could get fortune one on something. Okay, well, let's try that. It is just fortune one which I don't think will give us much of anything. You know what? Let's try and get a cow pen going somewhere. We have some hay bales, so let's take this. And we need something to keep these guys in, but I don't have a lot of wood right now. Let's just start laying out some walls randomly-ish. Uh, we should be able to lead them over top. That's such a weird shape. You know what? Uh, whatever. Hi, do you have a friend? You do have a friend. Come here, Moo Cow. Perfect. There you guys go. A little baby. They are now stuck in here for life and I still don't have enough levels to do what I want. Okay, sounds good. I guess that means we continue on our mining spree and see if we can't come across a few more diamonds. 
diamond mining is not going well, my friends. And so I think we're going to take a break from all of that. And we are going to work on some stuff up here. We're going to build the lovely house behind us and maybe do a little bit of a mining entrance, gather some wood and get those cows bred up. You yeah, know get ourselves out from underneath the ground. To get this thing built up, I'm actually wanting a little bit of cherry wood and we didn't get any last time. So I have to make my way back up this lovely giant mountain. Perfect. Well, let's head on back down here and see what we can do about building a house. So what I want is I want the cherry wood here on the sides. Then, of course, we need to strip both sides. Almost like it needs to be a two floor if it's that high. So I do think we're going to drop the roof. Mm -hmm. We're going to drop this by one. There we go. That's better. Okay, and then we can have like a little window right here. We got the main structure in place. Well, let me see what I can do about a little bit of decorating and design and uh, I'll bring you guys back when it's done. I want dark oak. We got spruce. We have acacia, birch, jungle, cherry. Where's my dark oak? Oh no, we're gonna go traveling again, okay? Mm -hmm. It's happening. We have our bed, we got mm, stuff on us, things. You know what, we're fine. But I do see some snow over there. Speaking of which, if there is snow, I should probably get my leather boots. But there might, just might be a dark oak forest that way. I mean, we're like 4,000 blocks away from spawn. Y you would think there would have to be dark oak around here somewhere. Here they are, just in case we need them. In order to be safe, I am going to put these on right now. Uh, there is a lot of snow here and we'll know when we go over some when I get the advancement, right? Right here. There we go, light as a feather. <laughs> this is why, this is why guys. Ah, this is why we wore these boots. Oh, uh, I wasn't gonna go that far, but now I want to because there's a portal up there. Depth Strider gold booties. However, looking over here, guys, it looks like this just ends up on uh, ends up on ocean and we're just going to keep moving so that hopefully the guys don't butt me. Dark Oak. We found Dark Oak. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, that was my feet. Got too excited there. Okay, let's cut down some trees and hope that we'll also get some saplings. That is 11 dark oak saplings. Oh my goodness, this was really good then. So we have our dark oak. Let's head back and finish off our house. World's smallest biome. <laughs> there is one spruce tree here. Oh my goodness, what is this? World's smallest grove biome. One tree, one tree guys. And this is classified as a grove. Well, I'd say that that little hobbit house is not looking half bad. Definitely need a few more details on the exterior and here on the interior, we have ourselves a very open room style. So we got our storage started here in the back that's actually very sorted. We got a little bit of furnace action going on and other benches on this side. But guys, we have a house. And besides only like one creeper scare, we've done pretty good at safety. It is day 40. We are going to go and do our best at finding some diamonds in caves. That's the first monster that I've killed, guys. What is with that? We're day 40. Man, I really have been playing it safe, haven't I? I am being too reckless with my life. We were going back down into the regular mines. Mm -hmm. It's happening. I'm not going down in these scary places anymore. I'm not entirely a danger loving gal, so we're gonna play this a little bit more safe. Hello, zombie. Hello, creeper. Man, diamond finding in this world is ridiculous. I don't feel like I've ever struggled this much. It's a spawner. Nice, we could get some XP going, which would be lovely for the whole enchanting situation. Only a name tag in here. Some more gunpowder, coal I'll take. 
bones actually at this point in life are pretty decent. Diamonds, I see diamonds down there. Please give me more than one. Oh my goodness, I can hear spiders. I can hear so many things right now. I don't like it. Well, while we're on the surface side, I had enough books that we can hopefully get this up to level 30. Um, What do we got here? There we go, okay. So now is level 30, which is going to be perfect. We kind of need two more levels. So we could go down and make that zombie spawner into an experience farm. You know, actually the easiest way to do it, maybe not the safest, but the easiest way to get the levels to start enchanting some stuff is to go to the nether and mine a whole bunch of quartz. And it's still early days, I understand that, but I kind of wonder if I should just go to the nether. Hopefully no horrible spawn that kills me. Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, just pop on into the nether. It'll be fine. It's day 45 and we're going to the nether. Okay, let's light this up. Okay, it's actually not a bad spawn. A Sebastian right there at our spawn. Looks like there's a crimson forest right there, which is kind of good to see as well. Quartz, perfect. Let's get those levels. Perfect, level 30, yes. There's a fortress right there. Wow, this is actually a really good nether spawn. Okay, level 32, we'll head home and hope for a really good enchant. What do we got? I'm breaking three, so there is a chance. Protection four. Oh, those are good. They might have feather falling or smite four. I think we're going to try the boots first. Protection four, I'm breaking three, depth strider three. Back to the nether we go. There's another nether fortress over there. Okay, no more pickaxes. I guess that means we go home. This is only gonna be enough for one enchant. I think the best idea here is on breaking three and see what it gives us. Literally only on breaking three. And let's go get all of this delicious food. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now that's only level 28, so we didn't quite do, um, the whole level thing that we needed, but that is perfect. That's almost a stack of raw beef and 30 leather, guys. Oh my goodness. At least we got pretty decent boots, even if we don't have feather falling. We are on day 47 here uh, and uh, things are going good. We're making progress. We got some diamond stuff at least now with the diamond sword, pickaxe and boots, but I think we should do a little bit of time here to do some building. Just tidy this place up and actually make it look like a home. Now that is what we're talking about. <laughs> that is looking so much better. We got ourselves our path and the cows are in an actual pen. I don't know guys, this is looking a whole lot better than where we started. However, there is something else that I would like to do. I think this area needs a whole lot of leaves, maybe a couple of trees, maybe even a little dock right outside of my front door with a boat to get across this pond. That looks perfect. I don't love that tree over there. I like this one. Let's go tear it down. Yeah, this tree is a whole lot better. So there we go, we got a couple of trees now. Now we're to replace some of these torches with some lanterns. 
of course, having one here at our lovely mine entrance would be really nice. I want one inside of this tree. Okay, let's go take a little bit of a look back from my boat. Oh, that's so cute, guys. I love it. You know, just ignore what's going on on the right-hand side of this, you know, scene. But right there in front of us, our house, our mining entrance, a little pathway in our barnyard. Oh, guys, this is so pretty. And with shaders, oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I love it so much. Don't lose the world, Callie. Don't lose the world. But with 60 days under our belt here in our hardcore world, guys, I think we need to take it up just a notch. I've been playing really safely. I've been building really safely because nobody likes to lose their world and the builds that they have created. I would love to hear your predictions on how long you think I can survive in our hardcore world here. But next episode, we are definitely going a whole lot bigger on the builds. So if you're excited for what's to come, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I cannot wait to show you what happens next time in our hardcore world. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.